Hi guys, Tony here from Tony Reviews. This week we're going to take a look at laying our floor in, well the, the, not the actual subfloor but the, the floor covering, so the vinyl. Um, well this is what I went for anyway, I went for a hard wearing vinyl. I'll take you through why I went for the choice I went for and then the actual practical side in how I actually laid it. Um, I may even leave some of the argument in there with, with my dad just for good measure, just so you can sort of see how I came to the process that I came to. Basically, I've done everything he tells me not to do. Um, but anyway, so happy viewing and uh, I'll see you on the other side. Let's roll that B-roll. So I'm just taping all the visible screwettes to just <clears throat> so you don't get any divots in the lino. Um, and I'm only using a very thin like masking tape because I'm thinking gorilla tape might be too thick and then you get a whole square. So it's just to stop that little divot and I think you, when you feel it, it does actually feel quite all right, but it's thin enough. It's not going to give it a raised edge. So that's why I'm opting for this. These areas will be under the cupboards, but I'm going to take this join as well, just to be on the safe side. Technique is going to be double sided tape around the edges, trim fix, adhesive spray, the stuff that you use on a four way stretch, trim fix adhesive throughout the whole van um, on the floor and the back end of this lino to secure the middle. But this around the edges, which is double sided like carpet tape. So we're going to line. Floor. What I'm saying is, I would. I'm going to take them up. I would do that side first. Well, I'm wondering. Well, don't forget, this is the side we're going to see. Yeah, but that side I'd leave till after. Yeah, but I want to make sure it fits. Because if it moves when you're pulling. Well, this is cutting, why. I, this is why I want to make sure it fits, Dad. No, but it will fit because that'd be the last cut. That's what I'm saying. That's the last cut, isn't it? Yeah, but what I mean right, is... you do it your way. No, I'm just worried that I'll get... Yeah, right. You do it ...to the end and think. I won't have enough and I'll go, oh, and it's all... No, I've over here, it doesn't matter if you ain't got enough. Yeah, that's why I'm saying start the end, you know you've got enough. No, because when you're moving lino, that end will move. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Hang on. Right, we've got an overhang there anyway. Yeah. So if I pull well, this back... Well, you can cut this here. Yeah, but hang cut on. Cut that like that and cut that like that. Yeah, but hang on. Let's then just... you can cut round the wheel arch. Yeah, but I'll just cut a bit because I don't. No, that's what I mean. I'll cut it if when I get cut to it. it there, yeah, I will. I'll cut it when I get to no, it. Oh, there's then. plenty. You cut that angle, cut that angle, and then that will push round there. I know. And but that's what I'm saying. Your... Right. right. Um, what am I going to do? So I'm going to go from the middle here and spray lengthways and roll it out like that all the way along like that and then turn and do the middle and go all the way along like that to the edge. No, you do one side. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to do this side from the middle out. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. So I'm going to spray it. Yeah, but I wouldn't do that side first. What side? That side. Why? Because that side's got to be perfect. It will be, but what I'm saying is, okay. imagine if this no. if this side never fitted. Yeah. All right. Why? What, what are you saying is the problem? 
Well, I know the problem. Yeah, tell me Because when you're cutting and putting it in, yeah. that side don't fit anymore. Well, it should do. At least if I get a, a bit well, of that. Well, I to say, you carry on. You think. Yeah. Let me just double check it measures. Yeah. Right. You've still got all these. What? These crinks. Yeah, they're going to come out though, aren't they? Not yet, you need to get them out before you do anything. That's what the glue's for, because it will stick it. No, because they're not sitting right, they can't fit round here. Look. Once you stick it, you won't have creaks. Don't forget, it's been rolled in the roll, it's got the Crink kinks of the roll in it. Yeah, I know. Okay. Well, I can go in now then. Eh? Alright then. If you're, uh, all right. You'll know what you're doing, don't you? Yeah, alright. I ain't getting involved. No, I can do it then. Make sure them ends are up. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm trying to do. This bit needs to come up. Exactly. This bit. Before you start all that. Moving already. Well, it don't matter. I can put an edging strip on it. That end needs to come down. Down? That way. Go on, pull that side a little bit. It's too much. Yeah. Sometimes it might be better to cut right along that edge rather than trying to You mean it. overhang it and cut it? Mm. But it's going to melt, isn't it? That's better. You ain't going to get a cleaner cut. That's than better. That. That's right on now. Is it? Yeah. You can always put some nails in it to hold it. Yeah, alright. You know what I mean? I've got some big screws. Right, I'm just going to pull it all the way back, spray it, and push it down as I go. So take these off. been and picked up this angle aluminium angle that I um, ordered from Screwfix and they were like 15 quid each so for like a two meter strip as you can see look it's very easily tearable which is why I want to get these corner strips on and done you know I'm not gonna leave it so this side I think I'm, I, I should be able to sort of bend over and take um and use the strip to cover the edge there on the back it's going to be a little bit more complicated because obviously you've got the shapes but we'll get on to that but yeah that's where we are at the moment you use this aluminium strip i'll probably use a drip i haven't got a countersink but i obviously want to countersink the screws but i think i'm going to try and use like a metal drill bit a bigger bit to just uh, countersink it manually and then screw in that way 
I've done the side trim. I'm well happy with the side trim. Looks well good, doesn't it? Um, yeah, and that one I did finish off down there. I just put some double-sided tape behind this and then trimmed it to this edge and then done the same, you know. This piece is relatively easy. It's just a straight piece. And I left this corner piece um, because it's hidden by this anyway. You're not actually going to get in and out on this part, so there's no danger of, or shouldn't be any danger of you catching your feet there. This is the area that you're really going to be using. Anyway, that finishes that off nicely. Looks all nice. It's just about getting that back bit done. So this is the back section. And if you remember, I cut the back section at a slight angle to go in line with the doors and to bring the whole thing out to the back because the old floor used to finish here and sort of go like this. Uh, and I extended it so you get the full bit of the floor and cut this bit out for the, um, the lock to sort of sit on. Anyway, to get this angle round here, what I've done is simply cut my cut my aluminium angle to, to this length and just put a very small sort of slit, elbow slit in there and then bent it manually and put the, pushed it up and screwed it in um, flat. So this section is straight and then it's just got a little kink. But I think it's quite nice, you know, instead, instead of making uh, actual join cuts to just keep it as one piece and just give it that release cut there i think it's quite a nice little finish here i'm probably actually going to take this off and i will do some 45 degree angle cuts like a picture frame type thing um to finish down here and on this back section i'm planning on cutting some maybe some five mil ply and but putting that in and painting them black so this is just an example with some gaffer tape but it will be black and then this screwed over the top so that will finish the back end off of the van but i haven't had an opportunity to do that and like i mentioned it was a case of trying to get stuff um finished and sorted uh in time for the next phase of stuff to happen so uh yeah really happy with that though and really happy how the angle and all of that has sort of come out and the the actual flooring finish as well i think looks really really smart so it's just a case of getting on to the next stage and finishing this off when I get the opportunity. You know, I have to be to the next weekend, I think. So um, yeah, that's where we are. I didn't want to leave the video too long. So that's why I'm showing you it at this stage. So I hope you found this video entertaining, insightful, useful, informative, and as many other descriptive words as you like to use, but you know, maybe keep them all positive and clean and maybe the odd few dirty ones in there. Who knows? Whatever you found it, I hope you found it helpful in some way shape or form anyway um, in terms of the lino itself um, so my decision to go with this particular lino um, as you as you sort of saw you know there was a few pros and cons to sort of the decision that I made and I mainly went I was trying to get an outro I couldn't get an outro and I ended up with this lino from eBay 58 quid for a roll which was two meters by four meters and it's listed as an anti-slip hard wearing it is you know it does feel pretty hard wearing but if you do get it and you do pull it you can tear it so when you're rolling it over at things like edges or you're trying to bang it in you know the, the technique that we use to sort of chisel it into you know get a tight fit it it can tear you know um if i was to do this again would i choose this probably not i would i would want to I would want to get another lino that I could really do the tough test, you know, really give it a good pull and make sure that it ain't going to rip, it ain't going to tear. Because what sort of what is worrying me, I know that I've stuck it down, I know that it's got no crinks in it, I know it's nice and flat. Finish wise, I'm very, very happy with it. But product wise, I am worried about what if someone gets in in a pair of high heels or what if I. I mean, this is why I've got this on the floor now, because I've got my batteries there and I don't want them to dig or mark this lino because it's, there is a sponginess to it. Um, but in terms of the finish and the way that I laid it, definitely, um, you know, the idea of using the tape around the edges, using that trim frick spray really allowed me to get a nice, even finish. You could see a little bit of the, um, I mean, it's very hard to sort of see, but at certain angles you can see the join in the floorboard which goes across there which you're only going to see a very small portion of that because the cabinet and I know I'm being pedantic I know this is a van and obviously you will see little things I think if I was going to do that again maybe try um, the, the duct tape you know the gaffer tape across that and see how you go with that because I only used the, um, the masking tape because I didn't want to be too thick with it 
But in terms of the finish, uh, it's got a little bit that I've got to sort of finish up the back. I won't bore you with that. Um, I might bore you with it at some other stage when I finally get to do the van. But at the moment, I needed to get this floor in. I needed to get these edging strips on because I'm potentially going to get someone that I know to take a look at making the cabinets because I want that spot on finish. Um, and so I'm taking it to somebody who that's their profession. They make cabinets for, as a trade. They're a chippy basically. Um, so the rush was on just to get all this in place because obviously once the cabinets go on top, the flooring needs to be in place. I don't want to be scribing around. Anyway, that's enough rambling for this week. So I hope you did find this video helpful, insightful, informative and whatever else. Um, don't forget, check out the Let Us Live website. There's loads of stuff on there. If you're into your motorcycles, into adventure, you'll absolutely love Let Us Live. There's loads of stuff on there that you will absolutely love, I'm sure. And if you put Tony Reviews in the checkout, you get a small discount there as well. So until next time, safe riding, safe driving, happy adventures, and I'll see you all next time.